Hi, welcome to the mini lecture on learning and cognition. I'm Mr. Richard. I'm also a doctor in educational psychology. In today's lecture, I am going to talk about what is creativity. So what is creativity? It is a simple question, right? But it's interesting that if you do a Google search right now, you will find millions of answers to the question of what is creativity and how to be creative. You will find all sorts of quotes that came from the so-called famous people like Picasso, Van Gogh, etc. Whereas many quotes actually cannot be verified as somebody's quote. Anyway, I personally agree with many of those quotes. Some are really inspiring, but some are misleading to say the least. To understand what is true, let's first start with a very simple definition of creativity. What I call the dual core definition of creativity. Why do I call this dual core? Because research has shown that there are two major components that are common to almost anything that is regarded as creative, and they are novelty and usefulness. What does novelty mean? It means that there is something new, something that is uh, different and uh, unexpected in those creative solutions, products, or ideas. And what about usefulness? Usefulness in creativity means that the solutions should be appropriate to the problem situation or at least relevant. It could simply means that the idea works. This definition of creativity looks pretty simple, right? However, as you look into what people said about creativity, you may feel that it could also be very complicated, or in another word, unpredictable. Let's take some example quotes here. Many people, especially in popular culture, think that uh, creativity is what mad people have. And if you are a normal people, it is uh, sometimes luck that you come up with very creative ideas. Of course, there are other people, um, more realistic ones, who think that the creativity is just connecting things. This is actually a direct quote from Steve Jobs. Uh, here is uh, another quote I like. Creativity is turning new ideas into reality. But the question here is, why do people come up with very different definitions of creativity? Perhaps that is because too much focus is put on the noble aspect of creativity rather than the usefulness. Whereas other people realize that creativity is not just about producing new ideas or new things. It is also about connecting things, connecting your ideas to real life, to users, or to your consumers. Um, let me give you another uh, example here. Let's take a look at how a new car is designed. It is interesting that car design does not start from uh, somebody's sketching on paper. To come up with a creative car design, what most car makers do is to do research first. You have to know what people need. Then based on your research, designers start to do sketching. They start to draw what might be attractive to consumers. And then you have to meet another reality. The design should meet certain criteria of which safety is the most important one. No matter how fancy your car looks, it should be safe first. Then they can make a computer model, or uh, in car industry, they make a clay model. They add uh, details like uh, color, interior, control elements, etc. Now after that, your new idea has to go through another reality check. You have to get approval from uh, your leadership uh, management level then further testing and refinement after your approval, and finally, mass production. Mm, this design process usually would take uh, three to five years to complete, and uh, it is almost very certain that the original idea of a uh, car design is very different from the final product itself. What's more important is that the kind of creative process usually involves a lot of people, including designer, engineer, manager, CEO, workers, uh, and, and etc. Everyone has his or her own expertise and a particular role to play. However, not all creative activity is uh, carried out by many people. For some types of uh, creative action like uh, writing, painting, or science, and research, sometimes one person has to play different roles during the process. What's more interesting about this is that some roles seem to conflict with each other. That is why, like a creativity scholar once has said, creative people are bold, smart, and naive. You can see playfulness in those people. You could also see they are very self-disciplined sometimes. 
or they might be hyperactive when they are doing a creative work a job. But sometimes they need to stop and think. They need quiet time to recharge and just sleep. Yes, what's remarkable about those creative people is that they are able to contain contradictory extremes and make a perfect balance between the two. But why do creative people have to balance between contradictory extremes? The secret lies in the creative process that is underlying every creative action. Here is a simple illustration. The creative process usually starts with a problem or a question if you don't know uh, what the problem is. That happens a lot actually. Then you brainstorm and search for, generate uh, or a lot of ideas. And this is not a linear process actually. Both the question and the answer are evolving during the process. And sometimes you have to go back and forth, ask the question again, start from the beginning, etc. Then comes the evaluative phase when you start to narrow down your solutions to one or two and make a choice uh, based on your experience, expertise and reality. What's more complicated is that the creativity is influenced by a lot of factors. And if you categorize these factors, you'll find that, that creativity is not just about a person. A person has to constantly interact with the product and his or her working environment. Uh, here it's called the press. And it is through this process that you complete your creative action. And this is what we call the four piece model of creativity. Okay, then what is creativity again? I believe that there is no correct answer to this question. It's totally fine that everyone has uh, his or her own definition, but from a psychological perspective, we have to come up with uh, some, some sort of uh, operationalized or standard or comprehensive definition to serve a start point for researchers or practitioners. So I'm just going to throw it out to you. Here it is. Creativity is the interaction among aptitude, which is person in the four piece model process and the environment, which is pressed in the model, by which an individual or group produces a perceptible product that is both novel and useful is defined within a social context. Thanks for watching the video. In the next lecture on creativity, I am going to talk about how psychologists measure creativity. And uh, if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments if you have any questions. I may be able to answer your questions in my next video. Thanks.